It's where the big stories live. This is Plus TV Africa, and you're watching Tea Time, the hottest entertainment news program, where we bring you news, views, and in-depth interviews. I'm Tukumbo Taiwo, and I'm here with my boisterous crew, Elsie Godwin and Ife Oshunke. Hi, guys. What's hey. up? Okay, so what's new, apart from the fact that, yes, we do have um, a studio guest, what's new Simeon on social? Simeon is getting married. Mm, yes. I knew <laughs> And Elsie, you were invited, weren't you? Well, I don't know. You got the VIP ticket? No, I did not oh, get it. Oh, come seats. on, Elsie. There I was thinking. Did they do VIP that... tickets to wedding these days? <laughs> Never mind. Help me out. Yeah, go on. You have something new for us? Um, apart from the fact that, um, what's it called? David O. Uh -huh. Once again, has broken another record. Okay. He has nine, is the first Nigerian artist to have 9 million followers on Instagram. Wow. Because yeah. the last time I checked, it was actually on 8 million. And I was actually checking a, none of, a, a lot of them. And there were guys with like 6 million, 4 million, 2 million. I'm like, David Doe is the real deal. But if we're saying um, Whiskey is um, globally recognized, yes. so how come he doesn't have as much followers? How many followers? Because, because I checked him, actually. Whiskey has about 6, 6 million. Something. Yeah. Because yeah. mm. I checked well, it and I was like, actually. And people are there expecting for him to drop some money sometimes. But I have a feeling. So are we saying that? <laughs> Um, <laughs> David Doe has more street credibility. No, than I don't think so. I have a feeling. Let me tell you what I think it is. I think like um, David Doe actually does more um, charitable giveaways than um, Whiskey does, and I mm. think that it, it encourages them to have mm. all of the follow okay. following. That because makes you, sense. you, yes, because he gives out you know not just any money. We're talking like one million, mm. you know, one million giveaways, which is very very commendable. Whatever the case is, I think mm -hmm. it's very commendable. Nine million, it's no yeah. joke. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, it's not business as usual this morning. We do have a high-flying studio guest. Uh, she's a veteran Nigerian actress and producer. Her acting career began in Yoruba language films before making her home video debut in Living in Bondage. She has also been in TV series, Ripples, Fuji House of Commotion, and much more recently, Light in the Dark. She's attributed as being the first actress to kiss on set. She has featured in popular TV adverts, mm -hmm. and with almost 50,000 followers on Instagram, ladies and gentlemen, it's selfie time. Please, let's welcome the never-failing and the noteworthy Ngozi Musu. Mm -hmm. She's peaceful. Ah. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> um, peaceful and I must say, you look absolutely stunning this morning. I should have included that in my intro. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But ah, 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 which one is? She's the first to have kissed. Yes, that's yes. Yes. hello. That's what we saw. Yeah, that's what yes. is so. in kissing for God's sake? Okay, okay, we we okay. Maybe we should kissed. break that's this down said. now. Um, it was your role in living in bondage where you kissed Kenneth Okonkwo. Okay. And the industry wasn't ready for, for that. That, that at that time. They didn't see it coming. They didn't see it coming. You threw them off. Okay, maybe now it's normal. It's random. But then, come mm -hmm. on, how did you weather the storm? I'm this sure a, a lot yes. of people <laughs> must have condemned you for that role. No, 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 no. Because she said you got a round of applause, actually. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, but um, but like my colleague Ife says, you must have had some people who criticized you at the time. Uh, well, as at then, I don't really know because, okay. I mean... Social media. I just... Uh -huh. There was no social mm -hmm. media. Then. Social media was not um, that strong. At that yeah. time, yeah. At that time. But being as it may, of course, um, a thing of that um, nature, some people will love it, mm -hmm. some will condemn you. Mm -hmm. But mine is a girl has got to do what she's got to do. Mm -hmm. I'm an actor mm -hmm. and I'm just doing what I have to do. That's it. Alright, so curiosity kills the cards. Uh -huh. Was let, it a good kiss? <laughs> Welcome. This is Ife or Shuken. <laughs> Was it a good kiss? <laughs> Excuse me. Good kiss? What's my business if it's good or sour anyway? I don't have oh. anything to do with so it. So for you, it was all about professionalism. Oh, yes. Okay. I don't have anything to do with um, Kenneth. Mm -hmm. It's someone you have feelings for that you begin to know if it's a good kiss or no, not. not. I was just doing my job. So would you thing. kiss anyone then, you know, in, in the acting industry at the time? Supposing it wasn't Kenneth, you know, some people, supposing it was someone else who you did not find, you know, appealing or easy, to, easy on the eye? Definitely. Just make sure 
that your mouth is not smelly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you I'm say glad that. I'm glad you mentioned professionalism. I had Bimbo Akintola um, a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. She mentioned how professionalism is dropping in the acting world in mm -hmm. Nigeria. Do you agree with that? 100%. Mm. Yes, I do. Any instances to share? Oh, lots and lots of them. You know, these days, <clears throat> Ah, uh, we, uh, we see a lot. We see a lot. There are some scenes, I mean, for me, as an actor, you are given a script, you read it, you know what it entails. Mm -hmm. You won't just come up there and, okay, let me cite an example, a romantic scene. Mm -hmm. You know it has to do with romance. You know what comes along with scenes like that. And then you pop up and you say, ah, no, I don't think um, I, can, I can hug or kiss title because I'm married, because I have a husband, or because I have a fiancé. <laughs> Did you see the script? <laughs> no, for real. Mm -hmm. we, 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 we had a problem with a lady like that before. Mm -hmm. she, had, she was given a script two weeks before shoot, mm -hmm. and she came up. We had shot almost about 15 scenes. And we just had this scene that she was supposed to be in a swimming pool. Mm -hmm. In the swimming pool. Please, oh, will you be wearing your dress? No. no. This girl now insisted that no, she can't wear a swimwear, that um, she will have to wear tights and then wear whatever. And the director is like, hell no. No? It's not working for mm -hmm, me. Mm -hmm. It's no, no, no. Did you not read, read the script? The script. Uh, yes, she did. Uh, but she told the producer that she. Ca you told what? Right there and there, she was the casted. Wow. wow. Yes. Mm -hmm. so we had to go and reshoot. Fifteen cents. Fifteen cents because oh we called in somebody else. Wow. Wow. Mm. So a lot, or, or you are playing a village role, you see the person, suddenly the, the nails are so, oh my God. <laughs> How can a village person, mm -hmm. well made up, with the nails popping out and, and all, all the embla oh gosh, <laughs> what's that? <laughs> okay. okay. And what still, you see some of them, they will wear clothes so revealing. If you talk, they'll say they are selling market. Please, which market are you selling? Mm. Is that the rule? Okay. Act according, according to, to the... your rule, mm -hmm. what you are given. Mm -hmm. Yes, we agree. Film is make believe, but it's a character that you need to convince people that actually this is what it entails. Mm -hmm. Not telling people this is the character, but this is me. I have to be me. Hmm. Wow. No, now. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. okay, let's talk about Lionheart. You are one of the leading Igbo actresses in Nigeria. Yep. And we've had conversations, we've had that conversation on, on here, where Ife is saying it is more of the Igbo speak, it's for the Igbo speaking people. Why? So many people don't understand this. I don't know, have you seen it? No, I have not. Oh, okay, it would have been nice if you've seen it. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, the reason why I it, said but, that, let yeah. me vindicate myself before <laughs> she slaughters me. The reason why I said that was because the version I watched had no translation. And 50%, what am I saying? 60% of the movie was in Igbo. Oh, come on, a fair, you 60, are exaggerating. Okay, I said 50, I watched it. Okay, and I'm 50 not Igbo, and I can of the movie, tell you. 50% of you know, the movie was in Igbo. Was and the translation, trans no, the it's version I watched was not trans subtitled. subtitled. And how am I supposed to understand? I'm Yoruba, I do not speak Igbo. Okay, then let me ask you a question. How were we supposed Apparently to understand? Fair. No, wait. <laughs> How were we all supposed to understand Indian films in those days? Days. They, that yeah. we were what? No, 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 Right or yes, right. In those days, yes. In those days, yes. This is 2018. This is 2018. That was those days. Okay, so we're not going to draw your point. The one I watched had subtitles, so I don't know where he watched it. Bless you, Jeremy. So my real question is that he doesn't like he doesn't like Genevieve. 
I, no, I love the movie. The movie was amazing. Mm. And I was it's just amazing. trying to... And yet you gave it just 50%. I, exactly. I didn't give it 50% rating. Ah, thank you very I said much. it was 50%. Ibo speak. And even then, he exaggerated. He's a You asked, you educate yourself. We agree. So my question is, do you encourage such movies, like more movies with indigenous languages, like Ibo, Yoruba, Okay, Yuba, without subtitles. Okay, guys, can you, can, can, sorry, sorry, can you, yeah, oh, without okay. subtitles. <laughs> yes, yeah, sorry, sorry, and sorry. And then we'll take okay. All right, all right, guys, we need to quickly go on a break. Uh, so, guys, hold that thought. When we return, I uh, will carry on this very interesting conversation with veteran Nollywood actress Ngozi Imwosu. We'll be right back. It's where the big stories live. This is Plus TV Africa. When I did it, I was full on, hands on, on the whole project. So how did you that deal with it? All of that negative. I got depressed, obviously. Of, duh. <laughs> Haven't you heard? I've got two of the hottest topics currently trending on social media. If you've seen the word Senate trending on Twitter, that's because the Nigerian police force has gone Trump style. I probably haven't shared this with anyone, but I reckon I get about like a hundred people asking for help a day. That's a fact, I can prove that. Welcome back. You're watching Tea Time right here on Plus TV Africa. And during the break, we've been having a wonderful time. Even before the break, we were having a wonderful time uh, with uh, veteran actress and producer, our studio guest, Ungozi Ungosu. And we're about to carry on uh, with that very interesting uh, conversation. So, Elsie, you, can you go back to that question again? Okay, Let's my continue. My question is, do you agree or do you encourage more indigenous movies, whether subtitled or not? Oh, no, you know? Yes. I do. Okay. Because that is who we are. Listen, the Western world, please, do they do your own movie? No. Ah! But when they travel to places like Colombia... Hey, and hey, wait, <laughs> Even when they do your movie, they turn it upside down. Yes. Mm. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. It is for we to correct. This is our world. Mm -hmm. This our is story. who we are. It's our culture and our language. Simple. Let the people out there know. Mm -hmm. We watch them. So mm -hmm. are we so going to go global? So how are we going to go global? If an American cannot watch our global. movie and understand. How are we supposed to go global? Are they just supposed to follow uh, the storyline? Or are we supposed to have um, some um, deaf and dumb translating, doing Wait this for to the people? I, I, don't, I don't understand. <laughs> we, we're talking about, <laughs> talking about going global. They're talking about going global. This is 2018. This is a digital age. It's 2019. <laughs> This is what happens when one Yoruba angel is sitting in the midst of three Igbo. Oops. Excuse me. Let's talk about tribalism in. Oh my word. Yeah. Does it exist and how deep is it? Tribalism. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, for me, it does and it doesn't. Okay. It does in a way that um, sometimes. People just look at it as saying, ah, oui. we, she's from here, he's from there. Why should he be in this uh, production. production? It doesn't. And the fact that um, I have seen a lot of Igbo movies that they have people from other tribes in as much as they can't even speak the language well, but they're still there. So, but I just believe in one thing in life. You can't have it all. Mm -hmm. It's here, a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. It's everywhere. Tribalism is everywhere. Mm -hmm. Let's not forget that. Even abroad, it does exist. Mm -hmm. And it's still existing. And it will continue to exist. But do you that think is something we, 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 we need to deal with. Okay. Is there? Yeah. I wanted to ask, like, do you 
think about you as a person and you as an actress and you as a producer, um, having been, because you are trilingual, you know, you speak Yoruba English and you speak uh, Igbo as well. So do you think by any chance that in as much as tribalism is in the industry, do you think you actually had to face that in any way, shape or form? Oh, definitely. Wow, you can say that again. Yes, I have. Ah, many times. Okay. And I am still facing it too. Really? It got to... Uh, um, a time, even my fellow Igbo people, mm -hmm. Amibo, they now found it difficult to use me simply because they felt I belong to the Yoruba. Oh, oh mm. my days. Yeah. I faced that. And at a point, I faced, I had to dance to the Bedou of the Yoruba too. Because at a point, they were like, eh? Oh my Jekuta, my mommy. How come? <laughs> <laughs> Coming to collect mm -hmm. our Arrows. thing from no, wow. they sideline me. But you see, one thing is certain: if you are good, my dear, mm -hmm. you are good. Mm -hmm. Your talent they will speak can, for you. They can only dust you away for some time, mm -hmm. but when they realize that, wow, you have what it takes. You've got the onion. You have the card to play. They'll bring you back on board. Okay. Yeah. Now, I want to go back, um, like, um, last year when yes. we had the AMVCAs oh. and um, you went on stage and you did the selfie time thing. It was, for me, it was the highlight of the entire event. I wanted to just really ask, you know, um, did you guys practice that? Because it came across so well, you know, did you, like, have a rehearsal about it, the way you guys did it, you know, with the, <laughs> the whole... So I was like, I have to ask you, you know, what... Funny enough, mm -hmm. I did not. The plan was actually for us to have a rehearsal with okay. my co-actors. Mm -hmm. But we were there, only me, the rest... Of course, hold up and the rest, the rest mm -hmm. is history. At the end of the day, <clears throat> we had a plan that this was how we're going to do the intro. Mm -hmm. And nobody showed up. Oh my God. <laughs> it was just me. Wow. I was like, huh? Gozi, only you. Wow. How are you going to do it? First of all, I had butterflies in my stomach. Mm. Then I said to myself, you have not come this far. To joke, go out there. You can't do it, mm. and that's it. Mm. Yeah, um. and that I just went out. What came into my brain? That was what I did. Spontaneity. Yeah. So far, what would you say your biggest production has been? My biggest production. Ah. Biggest production. Ah, I have to think, 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 think my biggest production. Because I've had a lot. Mm. I've had a lot of productions that, mm, wow, were big. I remember, like, when I had um, Jaguanana's Daughter by Albert Egbe. Wow, that production was something else. And um, Fuji House of Commotion. Mm -hmm. So many, really, that put me on my toes. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, that was one I did recently. The movie is not yet out, but the role I played there, it's small but big. Mm. Because it gave me a different me entirely. Right. Okay, no, all right. No, no. Uh, time for another break. When we come back, it will be time to carry on more of our conversation with Nollywood actress Ngozi Umwosu. That's all coming up when Tea Time on Plus TV Africa continues. <laughs> We do not understand, we will stigmatize. What you can see is the remaining of the tanker that exploded. The suspect equally confessed. Ah! 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 
hundred naira they collect them. If no talk, then go beat you. Now two thousand five when they pay. Welcome back. It's still tea time right here on Plus TV Africa. And we're swiftly moving on with our discussion with Nollywood actress and producer Ngozi Ungwosu. Now, I've been dying to ask you this, you know, for some time. And it's more about you personally, your personal life, you know, but it would be good to sort of hear from you directly. Um, <laughs> Now, I don't want to make you cry, but I want to, th because the last time they asked you, you know, you said you didn't want to cry. It's about your health, you know, and then also marriage. So those are two things that I wanted to get your take on. <laughs> wow, wow, where are you going? <laughs> I, I would like to broadcast one of his questions, uh, though. Put the butter. <laughs> yeah. Because, um, speaking of your health, in 2012, you were diagnosed with a kidney disease, for those yes. who don't know. Right. And um, you had to go on a game show, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, to be able to raise right. funds. Mm -hmm. Now, does that raise the dust of fake love and lack of support from your industry colleagues? No, 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 no. Some of them tried. But um, they can't do it all. Because we are talking about a huge capital mm -hmm. here. And um, I must say, though, some of our colleagues are selfish. Mm -hmm. Selfish in the sense that they have enough that can even take care of one person. But they would rather use it to buy the most expensive stuffs that they want people to know them for than to save a life. But some really tried. Even people I didn't expect. Yeah, some tried. But it's all good. Mm -hmm. We thank God I'm yeah. alive today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so back to my questions, the health and the uh, marriage thing. Mm -hmm. Ah, well, health. You can see I'm okay. Yeah, I had a um, um, health challenge mm -hmm. the year he mentioned. Yeah. 2012 stroke 2013. But thank God, I'm okay. I'm here today on TV mm -hmm. uh, Plus, mm -hmm. hail and healthy. And as for marriage, excuse me, I've been married before. So don't yes. go saying yeah. marriage, this, this, this. But now I am not married. Mm -hmm. I am single now. Mm -hmm. And Searching for a responsible better man, I beg. Yes, that's yeah. what I was doing in this place. <laughs> Okay. Please, you need to get so to where you're going. have you been able to deal with the societal pressure on you getting married? Because um, mm. you are, can I put your age out there? You're 55. It's on yeah. Wikipedia. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, so. And, and I'm so been proud of you. have been searching since, I think, 51 or even 50. No, 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 no. I've been married before. Yeah. I have this belief. If you say first one is a mistake, second one had better not be. Mm -hmm. mm. Because if second one is a mistake, third will be. And at the end of the day, they will count it for you. Mm -hmm. Are you going to become, um, is it Dolly Parton or Elizabeth Uber? Taylor. She had Thank eight, you. eight husbands. Thank you. And Joan Collins had four, five. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And that's not our culture. Mm -hmm. So I'll rather wait on God's time to get who I feel, okay, I can spend the rest of my life with. Or I stay the way I am till God says, come home. But it. what did you take on the pressure that people should get married? People say, oh, you should get married, your eggs are not getting any younger. You should get married now. So how do you deal with that pressure? For me, for me, no parents should put pressure on anybody mm -hmm. for marriage. Mm -hmm. Because for me, it's better late than mm -hmm. never. never. You rush in, you, you rush, rush out. out. Mm -hmm. Because that was part of what happened to me. Mm. When you rush in, or when you do things because your parents are doing it, mm -hmm. or because you feel, oh, I'm aging, eh, I'm getting to this and that, mm, people will start looking at me in a funny way or mm -hmm. whatever, and you rush in. Mm -hmm. 
my dear, let it not be that person's doom. Mm. Just live your life. When, because for every being in this world, there is a partner. When the right time comes, right. you will certainly meet that person. Meet that person. Okay. Oh. And it will be permanent. Okay, thank okay, you. Sure. Um, before we round up, um, uh, I think we need to really talk about uh, politics because yeah, of the because elections that's what going on. on. Mm -hmm. yeah, so mm -hmm. I wanted so let to me say, let um, do the question. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Twitter. <laughs> So, let's okay. talk about it. Um, I would really like to get your take on the um, state of Nigeria presently and um, your advice to the youths and the general public out there on how to vote in 2019 because this is the election period. It's around the corner already. So what's your take on the state of Nigeria and what do you think we can do differently? Ah, <sighs> my dear. <laughs> You know, I was at yesterday's um, rally. Wow. Flag off. Mm. It all started, you know, nice, groovy, until it suddenly became a nightmare. And what was that all about? Was it called for? I don't, I don't get some people. They're having a rally, mm -hmm. and then some miscreants just entered because, because their target is in that place. Mm -hmm. They decided to just maim people. It's not right. Mm -hmm. If you need, if, if, if you have someone you're targeting, not when you know that, look, millions of lives could be lost in that your small mistake, and you go ahead, I mean, that's just too bad. Because they were after one person, they turned that rally of yesterday into a nightmare. And so many people were wounded. God knows, I don't know whether someone died or not. Because I left there immediately. I, I ran for my life. Mm -hmm. And if politics is all about this, hell no. So what would you advise, you know, the youth? What would you advise them to do? My advice for the youth is that please, please vote, not kill. Okay. Don't because you love social person, you love that party, you because of that, you now risk your life. It's not worth dying for because when you die, you're dead. Okay. The people will continue. Mm -hmm. That person doesn't even know that you are gone. The person mm -hmm. you are struggling for, mm -hmm. the person you are killing people for, don't even know that you are gone. All right, we're going to leave it there. Thank you so much. That's where we're going to wrap up on Tea Time this morning. Uh, join us this afternoon for a brand new episode of the program when we'll be having another guest. And just as this episode was, it promises to be just as entertaining. Until then, a big thank you to my co-anchors, Ife and Elsie, the entire production team, our stylist, courtesy of Kudis Empire, and last but most certainly, Certainly, not least, our studio guest, veteran Nollywood actress, Ungozi Ungozi. Thank you so much. I'm Tokumbo Taiwo saying thanks for watching. And as you know, every once in a while, I say goodbye in one foreign language or another. Today, it's in German. Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs>